Hey yo guys, welcome back to another video. This is Big Unit Cycling here, and today we're gonna do a review on the Met Manta Hip Road Cycling Helmet. And as you can see here, this is a pretty pretty nice helmet. It's designed by some Italians, and you can clearly see that this was designed by an Italian man. Just look at it. Look how lovely it looks. <laughs> All right, this thing doesn't even look like a helmet. All right, it does look like a helmet, but the design was inspired by a stingray. You know, the stingray in the bottom of the ocean on the seabed. He's just resting there nice and flat. That's what this helmet is supposed to replicate. And it does a beautiful job of doing just that. And it looks beautiful on the head as offered as well. And I have the white version here and it has a little bit of hi hi hieroglyphics. I'm quite sure this camera is not gonna do the the paint scheme or the color scheme any justice because yeah but I got a white because it's winter time and I want to be seen a little bit more visible when I'm doing my winter ridings even though I don't ride in the dark I ride in the daytime but still you just want to be seen as much as possible and white tends to be a cooler helmet and this is an aerodynamic helmet so it's going to keep your head a little bit warmer because there's not so many vents in here there are a few vents and it does use a venturi effect which means there's an intake and an outtake and yeah and apparently the air is supposed to come in and cool it cool over the head and yeah and the, the the hot air in here goes out i don't think that's going to be effective with with, with people with, that have hair like my such as myself but who knows and this one also have this technology called MIPS MIPS and as you can see here the MIPS is the yellow part of the helmet and it rotates right left to right I don't know if you can see that and apparently if there's a crash I haven't crash tested this one as yet but hopefully not and it also has some nice pads that apparently should soak up the sweat but in my two rides that I had with it this thing is uh, it doesn't do a good job at that and as you can see you can see the foam here and when you put this on your head this really conforms to your head like other helmets and it has a really cool magnetic buckle system from the company they partnered with Fidlock so it's really really nice <laughs> I really like that very clever and yeah I'm very happy with the helmet. As far as the aerodynamic performance, um, I'll have to give that a test. I'll probably test it out against my other helmets to see the advantage is uh, I'm, I'm gaining by wearing such helmet. Anyways, yeah, that's it for now for the Met Manta MIPS. If you guys like this review, um, leave me a comment. If you have any questions about the helmet, just leave a comment in the comment box. Give it a thumbs up. And yeah, oh yes. I don't normally bring out the scales of truth for a helmet because a helmet should be more of a, you know, a pr protection type of thing. Not, not more of a weight thing, but they did mention that this was one of the lightest aerodynamic helmet on the market as well. And I'll have to put that to the test. Scales of Truth on deck. Zero scale. And helmet on the scale. All right. And that comes up to 285 grams for a size large. I I'm not sure if you can see that. No, you can't see that. Yep, 285 grams for a size large. Normally I'm a size 58 circumference when I measure my head, but because I have a little bit of hair now, and sometimes it's winter time, you may want to wear a cap underneath this. So I went with a large. Should have got a medium to be honest, because this large feels a little bit roomy for me. I got to crank down the, the, the adjuster here, so all the way to the almost the last setting for it to fit me nice and neat. 
I, I'm not quite sure if the MIPS or the MIPS is causing this helmet to be like a little bit unsteady. Like if I if I tap it like this or pull on it, you can just feel that the helmet's moving. That may be down to the MIPS. I don't know. This is my first time using a helmet with MIPS on there. So yeah. And that's all I gotta say about this helmet, man. It looks nice and I like it and I may purchase another Met helmet in the future. Anyways, this is it. And it says beginning cycling, I'm out.